Springsteen has sung about driving suicide machines down the New Jersey turnpike, bragged of having his carburetor baby cleaned and checked with her lines blown <laughs> out. She's running like a turbo jet, you know, and uh, sprung from yeah. cages on Highway 9, chrome wheel, fuel injected, stepping out over the line. I mean, those are some of the, the lyrics in his song. But he, um, in, in his songs, but he's... Um, He's on this Zoom call with the judge, and the judge tells him, "Well, we're going to charge you five hundred dollars uh, to, you know, for this one uh, charge, and then forty dollars court fee, and you you have a week to pay." And so Springsteen, smiling, says, "I believe I can pay that this week, Your Honor." <laughs> That's the quote. I mean, he's smiling when he says it. I believe, yeah. and he's worth five hundred million dollars. I mean, that's that's what. Yeah, yeah. You know, so so it just seems to me like he's not repentant. When I read that, I just thought, is he truly broken? Is he repentant? Has God granted him repentance? And so, you know, in your experience, you've counseled people for decades with drug addiction. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you and I, we rely on the Holy Spirit to to grant repentance to people. Um, could you talk a little bit about like times where you've seen people not be repentant and times where you've seen people that were repentant and just some of the some of the the differences there in what you've observed? Yeah, that that's a, a great point. Um, you know, I, I I have had discussions with people in the past that, you know, uh, would say that they well, I just take myself, actually, if you want to go there with it. But, you know, of times uh, before the Lord saved me and, and you know, I was living in a, a life of, of uh, drunkenness myself. And, and you know, I would get in trouble, you know, with the law or with my wife or whatever, you know. And I would put on that show that for a little bit would look like, you know, repentance, you know, sorrow, maybe is a better word from the worldly point of view of that. but. Uh, but, you know, never really was, you know, just kind of placating the ears of of those that are putting the heat on us, you know. And and uh, it wasn't until uh, God changed my life that I really understood what true godly sorrow was, which the Apostle Paul writes about, that that, that is what will actually cause um, uh, us to truly repent, you know, when we really realize what our sin is. And, you know, I, I think, I guess the two ways to talk about that is a person either has what we would call worldly sorrow. They, they don't like the fact they got caught and they've got worldly sorrow, but that does not produce repentance. Godly sorrow is what produces repentance. And, and by repentance, you know, we mean a turning away from that sin, away from that life away from that drunkenness so in, in working with um men and women that are addicted um you know you, you it may take some time for you to realize which sorrow they're actually displaying and uh you can tell because in time truly god true godly sorrow the apostle paul tells us produces repentance and that person will start to move further and further and further away from the sin that they have repented of. Whereas the worldly sorrow is just the, uh, you know, gosh, I got caught again. I can't believe that. You know, I wasn't crafty enough this time to weasel my way out of it. And, you know, so I, I think that's the big difference, you know, and then observing someone's life on the backside of that, of uh, what steps they're taking to continue that path of repentance away from that sin. Yeah. It's, you know, I, I, I think of, you know, what Paul wrote in, in uh, second Corinthians chapter seven, uh, verse 10, he says, for the sorrow that is according to the will of God produces a repentance without regret leading to salvation, but the sorrow of the world produces death. And, and I think that's the key, you know, is that we, you know, this, this, this type of repentance brings salvation into our lives. Well, and you have an excellent workshop <clears throat> in our 
fundamentals training for the addiction connection that you taught in Indianapolis on uh, repentance and some of the different uh, Greek words associated with that construct and some other Mm -hmm. things around that.